Deaconess London with your word of wisdom for today. And the scripture is taken from Matthew 8 verse 27. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? We are fully aware of the count of disciples when they encountered the storm as they were crossing over to the other side of the sea, and Jesus was asleep in the boat. In Matthew 8 verses 25 to 26, we read, And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful? O ye of little faith, then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Even though the disciples had witnessed many miracles performed by Jesus, still they had no knowledge of who he really was. He was the Lord of creation unlimited in power and authority. We are no different to the disciples because at the first sign of gale force winds, we become fearful and faithless and forget God is sovereign and in total control. Storms and trials of life are designed to give us a bigger view of God and a more precise understanding of who Jesus is too. Believers, what is your view of God? How big you think he is will decide the size of your faith. I encourage you today when storms come your way, just remember, you know, the master of the winds. God bless you.